Genius on the YouTube channel. Also on the macOS Genius YouTube channel as well will be listed. Uh, today we're just going to go through a quick view. Um, in GSX, if people are trying to use the chat with Apple ability, uh, some people are unable to do it. Uh, if you do, if you try to clear your cache, uh, your history, you sometimes have to wait uh, not a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds. Normally that's per se the way to do it with other websites, but uh, you technically according to Apple, they want you to wait 30 minutes. Um, the only thing is I think you're waiting 30 minutes is because if you do iCloud Drive and you're doing a sharing on your desktop with Sierra, uh, it syncs your data. So if you clear it all and then you reset it, the history and the cache, uh, the history will be resynced if it's on another computer to your new computer or to your current computer you're having an issue with. So for an example, I'm in GSX under, this is my GSX uh, account. There's my name right there. Just going to refresh this. Uh, so if I go here in the top right corner, you can chat with Apple directly. So if you do the help, and then if you scroll down to communications, which will give you the option to chat with Apple. So you hit communications. Here is the regularly scheduled GSX maintenance and ACS chat availability. So this is just going to show you information on when the service will be down or so forth with GSX. So if you select this, it'll show you their regular schedule time, when they are off or when they're on, uh, and so forth, all around the country. But now at the very bottom, you select then contact Apple. You have the option that says create escalation or chat with Apple. You can do the create escalation by creating tickets with Apple directly, and then they can respond to you like in case you went through a troubleshooting process, didn't work or whatever the case may be. Uh, they'll respond back to you within about, I think it's like a day or two days, they'll respond back to you. So I want to select this option where it says chat with Apple. Normally when you select this option, a window should pop up saying, hey, now you can go start chatting with Apple. So I'm going to go ahead and select it in Safari. I'm on the latest of 10, 11, 2 or 3, I think it is. Uh, let's double check here. I'm on 10, 12, 2. So I'm going to go ahead and select on chat with Apple and the window just disappears. So I've already cleaned out my history and so forth. I have iCloud syncing to my desktop, so that could be the fault issue. So I've installed Firefox in my GSX. I'm still logged in with them as well. And uh, so now if I go to the top right corner with the question mark, and the thing is I don't use GSX, I don't use Firefox uh, with GSX or GSX with Firefox. Um, I pretty much always use Safari but I've been running into some issues with Safari. So I'm using Firefox. I hit the help button here. It gives me the same resources and available of the pages. I select on communication, select on the ACH ch chat uh, availability. This chat availability where my finger's at, uh, as well as the one up here, they're, base they're the, the same link. So you can, like I'll select up here, and then it'll take me to the same place. So as you saw on the other page in Safari. Here I will select on Contact Apple. Have the same option, Create Escalation, Chat with Apple. Now if I select Chat with Apple, now I get this pop-up message that two pop-ups were trying to attempt. So you wanna go ahead and select in your preferences on the top right. And you can, you can just edit the pop-up blocker to just to enable it, or you can just select Allow Pop-ups for GSX app to be enabled anyways. So you wanna select that, that's what I would select. So once I select it, then it go ahead and opens another window, actually two windows, and the two windows is basically one that it cannot connect, it has authentication fail error, uh, or there's a token expire, uh, because I'm using Firefox, I've already downloaded the token on Safari, so that's why you're gonna get misleading mismatch. But you can re-download the token and your authentication to needs to be required, it could be for the authentication required is because I'm logged in two different browsers. So if I go ahead and log myself out of this browser, go here, then log out, and then you can do the log out as well here, which is the log out is actually on the bottom. So I'll log out here. And let me just log back in. Let 
you're going to see my email, but it's an email. It's not, you're not seeing my password login. Uh, I think I typed in the wrong password. That should work. Nope, didn't work. Bear with me. There you go. It does a two-step verification, which you have to set up. If you don't have that set up, you won't be able to use GSX. Put in my code. Once I'm logged in, now let's do the question mark on the right side in Firefox. Select on communications. Do the chat availability. If you want to scroll down, select on contact Apple. And then chat with Apple. Now it should work. There you go. So now it pops up the proper way, which is done because I logged into the to the browser single time instead of two different browsers at one time as well. So it was an author authorization issue. It was not a token issue. Uh, and then basically you fill out your questions like saying what country you're located, what, what is the category, what is the problem, reset your password, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but you also need to know what is your GSX sold to account number, which will be listed down here at the bottom of the browser. I'm not going to pull it up or else you'll see it. Uh, not that you can do anything with it because it, uh, you don't have my full name and so forth, as well as the ownership of the account name, ship to account. You need to know your tech ID, the tech ID that you created with your Apple ID, with your certification. That would be a tech ID. Serial number, if it's related to a serial number or product that you're having a problem with, I'm having a problem with originally was software. So it won't be hardware, but you can still put in the serial number of the computer that you're having the hardware issue on or a software issue on that hardware. And then a description. Then once you hit start chat, it gives you a countdown timer and then you can go ahead and start chatting with Apple directly. Now this is only support with GX, GC, GSX within GSX. So if you wanted to know how to unlock a device, how to remove it from, uh, from an iCloud lock or so forth, uh, what is the procedure? Uh, if you wanted to know why is your AST is not doing diagnostic on the computer, um, you know, any kind of the resources or resource links, like for a very good example, I would like to do a chat because the resource here, if I select on resource, top center, and then on the top right here, I want to do an AST, so an Apple uh, service technician. I want to pull up an AST, which it has not pulled it up yet. There it is. And I want to select on introducing Apple Service Toolkit. This is what the Apple reps use in the store. So when I click on this, this tends to happen when I click on the video link because it could be because it's an old article. Uh, it's probably not updated. But when I click on this, it normally gives you me an error. There it is. File not found. So basically that means the URL is not pointing to the right direction and or the video file has been removed and maybe they're updating it. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's all I have for today uh, and how to get your GSX chat uh, with Apple up and running. Uh, go ahead and use a different browser if the Safari doesn't work, but Google Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer is all supported with the latest versions. Uh, maybe you have to install a new version on your Mac. Um, but other than that, feel free to subscribe. Uh, put in your comments down below what else you would like to know about GSX. Uh, and anything else further with iOS or Mac products. Thanks. Have a great day.